hello there uh, i don't know whether to say good morning or good afternoon what i know is that you're spared some 20 30 minutes to watch uh, this video and i do appreciate your company and you can do more you can do more by subscribing to my youtube channel hitting that bell and sharing these videos to your friends those of you who want to know more about mu rumba music and rumba musicians if uh, you are it is your first time to watch the to watch this channel we have done more we have uh, we have posted uh, so many videos on this channel uh, interviews we did with a serious musician I, I can say we did interview with a kanda bongo man it is one of the videos on this channel maybe after watching this video you can watch the video we did with a kanda bongo man we did another interview with nguza viking the band leader of makidu zaira band that was based in tanzania after watching this video, I will recommend you take some time to listen to the interview that I did with Nguza Viking. Also, there's a video, uh, there's an interview I did with uh, the late uh, king of uh, rumba music, Varkis Kiamwangana Wazalanzimbu. That interview is here. Also, I did an interview with this guitarist known as Luswama Aspro, the one who replaced uh, uh, Santana Mongole in orchestra Lipwalipwa as a solo guitarist. Also, I uh, did uh, an interview with, uh, with Nguma Lokito, the best bass guitarist in rumba music. The video is there. And uh, coming soon, we are going to do a video with uh, uh, the video that I did with... Uh, 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 the interview I did with uh, Bileku Juna Mumbafu, the big one. This guy, uh, Talaku, a rapper in rumba music, he did with Empire Bakuba, the late Pepe Kales band. I'm going also to post a video that, uh, not a video, an interview I did with uh, with Diblo Dibala, Young Komba. Those of us who don't know that Diblo Dibala played with OK Jazz, this is an opportunity when I'll be posting in the next two weeks that interview I did with Diblo Dibala. Now, uh, last week we did, uh, uh, I did uh, speak, uh, I did uh, tell, no, is this tell or speak? I did talk about Carlito Lassa. I've decided now to talk about a uh, vocalist and one of the vocalists I, I spoke about was Carlito Lassa. Today, let me talk about uh, Pepe Ndombe Opetum. Those of you who know Pepe Ndombe Opetum in Oki Jazz, he gave us uh, songs like Voyage in Abandonu, Coupe du Monde, among others. Pepe Ndombe Opetum. Yes, he's called Paul Ndombe. And musically, we call him Pepe Ndombe Petum. Did you know that Pepe Ndombe Petum was one of the musicians that uh, went with, uh, with the tabule to perform in Olympia in 1971? Tabule Pascal Rochero with his Afriza International. I can say he is the first African from Africa to perform in Olympia in 1971. The first lady uh, in Rumba World to perform in Olympia 1971 is Abeti Masikini. So when Tabule took his group to Olympia, Ndombe Pepe Opetum was among the guys that uh, went with the Tabule in Olympia to perform in 1981. And while in uh, Afriza International, Ndombe Opetum composed a song, wrote a song called Hortense. And uh, this song Hortense has been redone by none other than uh, Fire Tears. Uh, if you go on YouTube and search Hortense by Fire Tears, there's an original version of Hortense. And the same same song, Hortense, if you hear the guitar in that song, Hortense, uh, uh, 1971, uh, the guitar that was played, I think, was by, by Givano. That guitar... Kofio Lomide borrowed that guitar in the album. Uh, was it a fair guitar? No, 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 no. Yeah, there's a, there's a song. Uh, Bebe, there's a song called uh, ah, I'm Forgotting the Song. Kofi Lomide did. <laughs> Grow Bebe. Yes, it's called Grow Bebe. I don't know which album is that. Is, not, is it a Fakata album? Yeah. You'll hear that song, that, that guitar. Uh, Kofi Lomide borrowed from uh, from uh, from uh, from uh, from uh, Givano in 1971. So when they came back, um, this guy, 
called uh, Mdombo Petum continued playing with uh, Afriza International. Before we leave Afriza International, Afriza International with the tabule, uh, they came up with a beat, a beat, a rumba beat. They called uh, Sumjun. And Ndombe Opetum was part and parcel of this beat, Sumjun. The person responsible of bringing these um, beats was this drama called Sesken Molinga. And this Sumjun beat, how did it come? After Olympia, they went back to Zaire and uh, they got a contract to perform in Senegal, in Dakar. And while in Dakar, they performed in a bar called Sumbejum. And when they performed the Sumbe Jum, uh, when Sesken Molenga introduced uh, some beats, they called it Sum Jum after Sumbe Jum in Dakar. And the first song they recorded with these new beats, Sum Jum, it is a song called Silikani. And uh, they performed uh, uh, th these, uh, these beats also. There are so many groups that are did uh, some songs and used this beat. In Kenya, we have a group called Bomali Wanza, and there's a song called uh, Atosha Na Furaha, and uh, that song is purely Sumjun, if you listen to that uh, beat. So in 1972, Ndombe Paul Obetum left Afriza International together with Atel Bumba, uh, the lead guitarist, Mpopo Lowai, the saxophonist, Mavati Kumi Shelino, the guitarist, Sasken Mulenga, the drama, they created a group known as Afrizam. Yes. So, this name Afrizam, the group Afrizam, they released a song under Afrizam. The names I've just mentioned it to you. But, for the, for the listeners, uh, fans, uh, for their fans, it created confusion between Afriza and Afrizam. So, Ndombe Petum decided to change the name from Afrizam and called the group Orchestra Makina Loka. Mm. At this time, creating Orchestra Makina Loka, I'll tell Bumba uh, had taken poison. Things men do for love. He had taken poison, uh, but is it fortunately or unfortunately he didn't die? So the effects of poison uh, gave him health challenges, had left. Uh, so... Uh, Others went back to uh, Fraser International. So those who joined during Orchestra Makinaloka were Yenga Yenga, another guy called Makiona, and Basita. The songs they did in Makinaloka are songs like Zibola, Ike Ike, among others. In 1976, that is when this guy, Pepe Ndombo Petum, joined OK Jazz. And in OK Jazz, he gave us songs. Uh, uh, one of the songs he did was Voyage in Abandonu. And this song, he, had, uh, uh, he composed this song while with Orchestra Makina Loka, but sang it while in OK Jazz. Yes, that's one of the songs. Another song he did was Naebi um, Nenge Bakole Langai. Mokolona kokufa, ekoza la bongo, bae bakufa liboso, tomona, you know, the day I will die, I know how they'll mourn. So in 1981, 1981, this guy by the name Ndombe Opetum left Okijas. You remember the story I told you about uh, Carlito Lassa, at the time Carlito was joining Okejas, there was no Ndombe Opetum. Yes, Ndombe Opetum left Okejas in 1981 to go and form Orchestra Tier Monde, cooperation with uh, Samangwana Mpopolo Wai, and together with him, Ndombe Opetum. And later on, in uh, Orchestra Tier Monde, uh, this guy, Ndombe Opetum, uh, they were joined by uh, Nana Akumu, uh, Nana Kumu joined them, the Atholuko Kenshon Poi Badai. And it, it changed its name because Mangwana and I had left. It changed its name from Tier Monde Corporation to Tier Monde Revolution. Ndivo Ivo. Now, this guy, uh, this guy called uh, Ndombo Petum with Tier Monde Revolution. Now, Tier Monde Revolution died and he went back to do some job with um, 
to go went back to Afriza International, but uh, things didn't work. He went in Europe, and while in Europe, Okay Jazz was um, Franco was in Europe, and when in Europe, Franco ja, Franco at that time, he was uh, his health was not doing fine, and uh, in one of the concerts. Franco invited Nombo Petum on stage and he to, uh, he told Nombo Petum Okay Jazz is your home anytime you want to come back to Okay Jazz the door is open and that's when uh, Nombo Petum rejoined Okay Jazz and uh, that's the time when they recorded the album had songs like Angela mm, Angela and um, uh, sadly Franco died, and Nombo Petum, he's among those musicians that went ahead after the death of Franco to form the group known as Bana Oke. It was Nombo Petum, Joski Kiambukuta, uh, Lutumba Simaro Masia. Now they had brought in uh, a guy from uh, Brazzaville. He's called Elba Top, was among them. Shak Shakembo was among them. The bass guitarist of Lavian Maccabi, they formed Bana Oke. But before Bana OK, they continued as OK Jazz, as OK Jazz. But for three three years, 1993, they formed Bana OK. In Bana OK, Nombo Petum had nice songs, including the song Tekele, Oyeli Susu. So many nice songs he did with Bana OK. Nombo Petum, sadly, he passed on while performing in Kinshasa. And uh, he died, but uh, his voice remains with us as Bana, uh, as uh, fans of Rumba. He had his son, one of his sons, sang with uh, Oenge Musica uh, Mesomer. It's called Babi Ndombe. You can go on YouTube and enjoy uh, Ndombo Petum's songs. Uh, I wish I had more to say about Ndombo Petum. But happen to Malini Mefika. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, hit the bell. Share this video with your friends. I like to, to take this opportunity to thank Mr. Uh, Rogers Wanyama uh, following us uh, from uh, Machaha Village in Bungoma. Also, Mr. Ben Esaba following us uh, from uh, from Mar Sabit, uh, among others. Uh, Senior Council Asanyakundi uh, here in Nairobi. Not forgetting Professor Larry Gombe Asanteni Sana. My name is Ian Fumo. Until next weekend, Asanteni. Ciao.